And now we move to sports with Nick Carboni. Nick, the SU men's basketball team had an old friend in town tonight. And when these two teams face off in the Dome, usually a pretty good matchup. Well, that's right, Jake. Anytime Georgetown comes here, it's a great matchup. This one, everybody was anticipating this one all year, not only in the Big East, but nationally. Georgetown coming in with a great record. They are ranked seventh. This is actually the first time in 20 years that these two teams have met in the regular season, both ranked in the top ten. Syracuse at number four. The Loud House was packed, 26,000 people. But the Orange feeling a bit of Hoya paranoia at the start. Look at this, Austin Freeman. Three of his four threes come in the first half. Early in the first half, Georgetown opens up a 14-0 lead. But Scoop Jardine, he's not scared, gets a three of his own. Syracuse's first field goal coming five minutes into this one. 14-5 now, Syracuse coming back now. Andy Routon's one of his six steals. Gives it to Jardine for the putback. 20 to 18 Georgetown. Syracuse would take the lead and not stop as Brandon Trish down low to Chris Joseph. He puts it away. Syracuse a 34 to 29 halftime lead. And look at this putback. Third time's a charm there for Rick Jackson. Cuse up eight. I don't know who's more excited for that one. Rick Jackson or the assistant coaches on the bench there. And Syracuse would not stop. Who didn't invite Wes Johnson to the party? There he is. One block. And then Arenze Unawaku for a block for himself. Wes Johnson on the other end. This is probably the toughest way to get three points in the Big East going up and over Greg Monroe with the finish. And talk about finishing. AO down low finish two-handed and the foul 59 to 45. Orange win 73 to 56. Johnson had 14 points. He's He's been great all year obviously but Andy Routon's six steals 15 points. The emotional leader on this team. The Orange shot 53% from the field and had 13 steals, six of them by Routens. I'll call it, so it is what it is, and uh, I think that just shows what kind of heart this team has, and uh, we didn't give up, and uh, you know we got a lot of faith and trust in each other. Them going up 14-0 yeah, that early was, was okay. You know, the game was, we had a lot more basketball to play, so we weren't too concerned. It, yeah, it may have came as a shock to us, but at the, at the same time, we knew we wouldn't, that wasn't going to define the game. Now on to football. The Jets, rookie quarterback, rookie coach. It's only a month ago they began their magical run through the playoffs, starting with a win at Indy in December. They're back today in the AFC title game. The Colts putting in the varsity this time. Peyton Manning, he looks like a man on a mission, doesn't he? Hey, there with new coach Jim Caldwell. Mark Sanchez with a mission of his own, trying to become the first rookie quarterback in the Super Bowl. Early first quarter, Jets down three. Sanchez with a pump fake, 80-yard bomb to Braylon Edwards. The rookie feeling it early. After the Colts had a field goal, still in the first quarter, Sanchez takes a hit on this play but stands in there to get it to Dustin Keller. Look at Rex Ryan with a little Jersey Shore fist pump here. 14-6 Jets. They would add another field goal, but second quarter, it's Manning being Manning. Finds Austin Collie here in the back of the rectangle. Colts within four. We go to the third quarter. Manning still doing work. Lofts this one over everybody. His new favorite target, Pierre Garcon, gets that one. Colts up 20 to 17 and a little icing on a pre-Super Bowl cake. Manning to his old friend Dallas Clark, 27-17 Colts. Little bro likes that one. Manning had 377 yards passing and three touchdowns. Matt Stover also had three field goals in this one after the game. The Jets obviously disappointed. Now is not the time to to point fingers uh, to you know, place a blame on anything. You know, we just didn't have our best day in all phases. And offense, defense, special teams, all of us lost this thing together. You know, today wasn't our day. We were a good football team, but but today wasn't our day. There's no question. And, and you got to give credit to uh, the Colts. Uh, you know, obviously they're the uh, cream of the crop right now. And now to the NFC variety. The Vikings and Saints had the back end of the doubleheader today, fighting for a shot at the Colts. In the title game down in New Orleans, Brett Favre trying to get to his third Super Bowl, and this might be his last shot. First quarter, Saints down 7-0. Drew Brees dumps this one off to Pierre Thomas. What a great year he's had. He takes care of this one, 38 yards to the house. Great effort there, 7 all now. Third quarter, Saints up 21-14, but it's Adrian Peterson, his second touchdown, 21 apiece. And if you're from the Twin Cities, you might not want to look at this next play. Brett Favre with time running out, tie game. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, really, did that just happen? Tracy Porter gets the pick, forces overtime. Garrett Hartley with a 40-yard try to send the Saints to the Super Bowl. Hartley sends the Saints to the Super Bowl. 
St. Bernard, New Orleans going to its first Super Bowl in their 43-year existence. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras comes early, and they get over the hump after losing the 2006 NFC title game to the Bears. Now, the Syracuse Crunch won't be going to any conference championships if they don't get it together. They're towards the bottom of the East Division standings are on a three-game losing streak. Captain Derek McKenzie trying to change that as the Crunch hosts the Worcester Shocks at the on-center. First period, Grant Klitsum gets the Crunch on the board early with the deflection. One nothing. Still first period. Power play for the Sharks. Lefty Logan Kucher slams it home. Tied at one. Still first period. Dan Lacosta with a nice save for the crunch. But Andrew Desjardins is there for the rebound. Two to one. Sharks. They'd win a wild one. Five four. It's been a rough year for Syracuse. That's four straight losses and three straight at the on center. Jake, a crazy day in sports. Saints Colts in the Super Bowl. Who do you like? I think I'm going to have to take the Saints. With the, Di the Dwight Freeney entry, it looks like it's going to be the Saints' day. All right. And, and uh, that's it for a great day in sport. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right.